Welcome everyone to another Brian's Action Figure Review. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Marvel Legends, Marvel's Moonstone. Now this figure is an interesting one. They never released, this is the first time they've released her single pack. The last time she was released was in a Thunderbolts group set. I think it was an SDCC set that came with Luke Cage, Zatanna, Ghost, a lot of other ones who have since never been re-released first and single, singly since. So I'm hoping that the rest of those ones in that box set can be redone. But today I will be looking at Moonstone. Of course, plastic packaging is a thing of the past now. And yeah, so Moonstone's a kind of favorite character of mine. I really, really wish they did um, a Dark Avengers Miss Marvel version of her, which would be really cool. And hopefully with this mold now they can do it. And that was one of my favorite runs, the whole Dark Avengers thing. And she was great in Thunderbolts as well. So yeah, let's take a look at the box of the figure. So here's the box for Moonstone, aka Carla Sofen. So as you can see, you've got a background picture here as usual, and the picture of the figure at the forefront. Marvel, Marvel's Moonstone, warning, plastic free packaging. <laughs> On the side, you've got a picture of the figure again, Marvel Legends series. No logo at the top, just the Marvel logo. And on the side, this awesome picture of Moonstone in action, more of this would be better than just in the background, I think. On the back, you just, just shows the figure again. Uh, you got two hands. I do think it would have been nice to get more um, more parts for this figure, like as well, like effects or whatever. There is, of course, loads of legalese on the bottom there and on the bottom of the box. So yeah, let's get her out of the box. So here we have the Thunderbolts Moonstone up on the ticket swing of my jig. And this is an absolutely fantastic figure. Now, I will, the one thing I will, that did annoy me is, and it's been a recurring theme since we've got these cardboard boxes, is that in the render on the front, she does not have pins in her legs, and here she does have them. Now, she doesn't have them in the arms, which is okay, that's fine, but other than that, that's kind of annoying, and I think I've come to expect that kind of in future now, uh, with Hasbro, and I know they've apologized on Twitter, but don't fucking apologize if we're not gonna fix it in future ones. So, with that out of the way, this is a great Moonstone figure. The face sculpt on this, on this female figure is absolutely insane. I will show you more in detail in a few minutes. But other than that, like the costume, the costume doesn't give itself, lend itself too much to a load of over designing or anything. It's fairly standard and they've, they've done it. They've, they've done the costume well. Um, fair play, it's a fairly easy costume to do. But I'm surprised it took them this long to re-release her. Now I know she was part of the SDCC Thunderbolts box set. Maybe that's why. But uh, yeah, this is a, a welcome re-release. So let's get her down and have a proper look. So first off in this review, I wanna look at her accessories. Here are her accessories. Let's move on. No, I mean like, it just she just comes with hands. No effects pieces or anything. Quite lazy, I would say. For, I think this is a Walgreens exclusive or something as well. So yeah, quite lazy, and this will probably be a bit, little bit more expensive as well. So yeah, they could have added more, like even the ones they've done before. But uh, other than that, yeah, it's pretty annoying. As I said, there is pins on the legs, as you can see there. Not great, is it? Um, she does have little uh, Thunderbolts insignia on her back, just above her bum, uh, up around here. She has the insignia on the front as well, a different one. And the costume like is fairly standard, basic is the word I would use. But I will say the one thing they really like went to the moon on was that face sculpt is absolutely beautiful. You can see like her blue eyes and everything and her lips and the mask looks really, really well. Um, the blonde hair is done really well too. So like there's nothing really, like you can see how good that is. Excellent work from them on that. Articulation wise, the head will go all the way around. It does get trapped by her hair a little bit, but you can do it. Uh, you can get up and down movement on the head as well. Left to right, no butterfly joints. She does have though bicep swivels and double jointed pinless elbows, which is really, really good. An upgrade on the previous figure. She does have swivel here. The legs go out this far up this far and back this far 
then she can kick her own arse, which is good. So yeah, like this figure, she does of course have the ankle rockers as well. This figure is quite basic, there isn't a whole lot you can say. If she had some effects parts and stuff, she would be re it would have really like brought her up to the next level or like, God forbid, a flight stand would be put in uh, a box with a fine character. But uh, yeah, like one thing that annoyed me as well about her feet was they were quite stuck when I got her first, the ankle rockers. So I actually had a job in getting her balanced on the swing of jig at the start of the review, but I got there eventually. Um, these hands now, as well, I wanted to issue these. The first time I saw these was with Sue Storm on the Super Scroll Wave about three, maybe two or three years ago. And today I got like this this figure along with a lot of X-Men figures as well. And I actually, I actually have, I got these hands with the Dark Phoenix as well, the exact same yellow hands. So yeah, like maybe guys, you could do something a bit more original uh, with the hands. It's time to retire some of these old arm pieces and stuff as well. Along with the effects as well, there's a lot of that stuff that gets reused. And with the prices the way they are now, like a bit of reuse is fine, but they're taking the piss a little bit, I have to say. But um, yeah, anyway. Moonstone for me, as this is a bit of a bias score because I've been waiting for her for a while. Gets an eight for me. Other than that, she's quite basic, but like it's not the figure's fault because the character's outfit is quite basic. But they did a great job on the face sculpt and that elevates it highly for me. So yeah, an eight, a low eight, I would say. Uh, very happy to have her. Guys, if you're not a fan of the Thunderbolts, I probably wouldn't pick her, pick her up or anything like that. I do hope to do her in her Dark Avengers Miss Marvel outfit or even in her Screaming Mimi outfit from the original Thunderbolts. That would be absolutely awesome. But until then guys, I hope you have a great day. Like, subscribe, comment, and we will see you on the next one. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you again. Bye.